Hello, DJ Vic Vapor with you. Welcome to Bitwig Studios. Advanced concepts. So we're going to talk about channel strips and something I do as a workflow to make sure all my sounds are, you know, consistent and, and of good nature and have good color and good flavor. And it's something I just wanted to kind of share with all you guys out there. And um, maybe you can adopt this workflow into uh, your projects. So I've loaded a few stems, not all the stems, but a few stems from one of my projects I've been working on. And uh, I've already done the channels that are muted. I'm just going to do these top three just to show you the workflow. And it's something that once you've done it and you practice it, you can get into the um, rhythm of it because you know what's next. And you can do this fairly quickly. So we're going to start with a kick. I'll do the kick clap and the, the, um, the percussion uh, sound there. So what it is is... I'll just, I'll, the first thing I'll add is I've got the kick sound here. The first thing I'll add, and it's never, it never changes, and you can use whatever plugins you like or whatever EQs you like and things like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be the ones I use here in this tutorial. It's more about understanding the concept of how to get your sound, you know, balanced and good color and good flavor. So, first thing I'll do in the strip is saturation. And I'm going to use some fab filter stuff along with a few bitwig things, but just for the sake of the tutorial, um, I'll use fab filters. So, fab filter uh, Saturn for a little saturation. So, we've got some saturation. That's the first step in the channel strip. So, let me go ahead and hit play here, and we'll hear the kick, clap, and perk. But let's solo the kick. All right, so we've got a little saturation. I'm going to go with gentle. Give it a little drive here. None of this is, you know, aggressive in nature. It's just kind of nice, subtle coloring of the sound. All right, so I've got a little drive going there, and that's about as simple as it is for the saturation. Again, these are just important practices to get into. Next, we're going to do what's referred to as reductive equalization. So we're going to go in and carve out some sounds. Third thing I'm going to do is add some compression. Go back to the fab filter and get the uh, Pro C. I think I'll go with maybe like three, close to four on the ratio. We want an attack around, uh, say, 10 o'clock, and a release maybe like around nine. And then I'll just drive the threshold until I find a sweet spot. And whatever compressor you choose to use, make sure you have your auto gain or your makeup or whatever it's referred to. Make sure you have that on for this particular channel strip and this particular uh, workflow. So somewhere in there should be pretty good for us. I'm doing this on headphones, so I think I'm getting it close. I just want you to understand the concept more than the actual settings and things like that. So we've got saturation, reductive EQ, compression. Now we're going to add a, a sweetening EQ or an additive EQ where we're going to bring some stuff back that maybe we've taken away here. So.
you know what, I just decided I don't want to use Brainworks. I want to use, let's go, where is, there it is, Lufticus. Love this guy, it's very musical. So, all right, so we're going to get in here and add a little, some of the frequencies we've taken away and just sweeten it up a little bit. So let me take a listen here and see what it, what it needs. All right, and the last thing in the chain that I like to do is put a limiter on. So we'll go back to the fab filter here, get the Pro L. And again, it's not about the settings or the plugins. It's about this chain, this process. And you want to do this to all your sounds and all your channels and get in a good habit with it. It's a great way to make sure your sounds are consistent and well colored. So saturation, reductive EQ, compression, sweetener or additive EQ and now a limiter. And on this particular guy, I like to do a little oversampling, no dithering. Let's go in here and bring down the attack and the release. We don't need anything too long. And again, these are all subtle changes and I like transparent mode. Now I'm just gonna drive the gain until I find that sweet spot again. And that's it. That's the channel strip and the chain. I want you to get in a good practice this. Try it uh, with the plugins and the resources you have available. But you want to do it in this um, style, in this uh, you know, in this direction, this format. Saturation, reductive EQ, compression, sweetener, and a limiter. So, and then once that's done, because now you've changed the overall volume of the sound, what you want to do is put it against the mix and make sure you're um, gain staging off of your master. So let's do that. Now I want to go ahead and I'm going to go over to this mix. And I'd like to stay minus 10, minus 11, somewhere in there. So it looks like we're doing okay. Bring it down just a little bit. And there we go. So I've got my minus 10 kind of like right where I need to be. So I'm going to move over and do the next two sounds. And just follow along. And then I'll open up everything else that I've already done. And we'll take a listen to everything overall. So i got the kick done. Now let's go ahead and do the clap.
so you can see real quick that once you get to habit of the the individual chain and channel strip down saturation reductive eq compression sweetener eq or additive eq and then limiter practice that make it become your go-to kind of strip and use the uh, plugins and settings you like and you can quickly dial things in and always remember to go back to your main master there and be gain staging to stay wherever your preference is mine is around 10 under so let me go ahead and open everything up and let you hear the full sound but it makes a huge difference in getting a great quality project put together I mean this is a great habit and great workflow to get into and once you have these kind of things established you always know what to do next and you're not guessing you're not fiddling around and not wasting a lot of time so hopefully you learned something let it play for a little bit and uh, thanks for pushing play thanks for tuning in and enjoy mm -hmm.